save the main. People always said there was something weird about the blue room. It's an ugly brick thing in the corner of the girls' bogs. More space than a normal cubicle, but still creepy. If you've got the curse, you can clean yourself up and then you want to get out before it clings to you. Like the stale leftover smell from a fry-up. Should have been an ideal place for a quick fag, but no one wanted to know. Everyone puffed away out back, even in blinking winter. Everyone except Kaz and Nikki. They were the hardest girls in the school, and they weren't scared of nothing. Hurry up, will ya? Kaz, that's Carol to you. Now get lost. Carol. She was the toughest. She had matching silver studs through her lips, nose and eyebrow. All up the side of her face she sneered at you from, just before she hit you. There's no sanitary bins out here. Only in the blue room. This is my office. I ain't scared of you. You're a slapper. And your mate Nicky still wets her bed. Everyone knows. You little... Get off me! Teach her a lesson, Kaz. <laughs> that was Nicky. She was a Carol wannabe, but she was a marshmallow, soft inside. She was always in high heels, even in the snow. And all her books were covered in pink hearts. She'd probably have had a boyfriend if she'd ditched Carol and smiled a bit more and wasn't so mean. Could tell she'd had it rough. She had that pitiful look about her. My brother will beat you up if you touch me. Marcus! Had him last night when you were in bed saying your prayers. <laughs> and Clive. And Alan. And Dave. Nikki! Shut up! Where you been anyway? Playing at Mangy Morris. Almost got caught. I had to leg it. Huh. Get a bag. Whee! <laughs> oh, notebook. <laughs> Frantic pen. Ah, mobile phone. Oh, a <laughs> hey, nice phone. Ah, oh, she's got more than 20 quid's credit here. Little rich bitch. Where'd you hide the fags? Oh! <laughs> I got them. Sick of your face already. Yeah, find some soap and give these a good rinse. Oh! And stick them under the dryer and all. Yeah, and stay there till we call you. You won't believe what they made me do. Suppose I asked for it when I opened my big mouth and called Kaz a slapper. Wanted them to think I was hard. Didn't want them to see how scared I was, did I? Should have just kept a lid on it. But mind you, Morris puts us on report. Nah, he can't touch us, man. <laughs> Not after we started that fire outside his office and told everyone he'd been with prostitutes. <laughs> we rule this school. Yeah, it gives a drag. Why is it called the blue room? When it's dingy green? <sighs> Bit creepy, innit? Like, maybe someone died in here or something. Shut up. What are we gonna do when we get thrown out of this dump? Carrie's on tonight. I oh, mean, next term. When we leave school. Oh, I'm going to be a celebrity. <laughs> Go to parties, uh, pull rich boyfriends, uh, drive a flash motor, be on TV. <laughs> Wicked. Live in Los Angeles. What? I don't know. Somewhere hot and exotic. Barbados. Yeah. Posh and Beck's got a house there. <laughs> yeah, man. And what about you? I'll get a good night's sleep. Huh? I get nightmares. What about? Nothing. It don't matter. Well, suit yourself. How Nikki and Kaz hung out in that creepy blue room was beyond me. It was dark and it was nasty. They should have left when they had the chance, cos the feeling in them loos had got very weird. And I didn't like it. Not one bit. Get it all out! Stop whinging! The 
there's no hot water. What's your point? Get on with it, annoying little flea. <laughs> I was beginning to feel like I'd never get out of there. My instincts were screaming at me to run, but I was scared stiff of what they'd do to me when they caught me. Everyone gets nightmares, it's nothing special. So, yeah, I know. Just don't talk about it. Guess we're not really best mates then. Seeing as you don't share nothing. We are. You'll always be my best mate. Next time Maxine comes in here with me, you wait outside. Kaz, no! Well? I got sent away when I was five. You only get nice mums in the movies. Mine just didn't want me anymore. You okay? What's the matter? How long, Mum? Nikki? How long do I have to stay? Can I come home with you? I'll be good. Please, Mum. Don't leave me here. I don't like it. Mum? work out what was happening. I thought I'd heard Nikki scream. It must have been her, because Kaz would have rather stuck nails in her eyes than risk her rep like that. Kaz, a uh, Carol? Here you are. Can I have my bag back now, please? I was dying to know what was going on, but the thought of Kaz thumping me one was scary. So I sat there like a lemon, not daring to move a muscle as everything got weirder and weirder. Did you hear that? Oh, handle bust. No wonder it's so warm in here. There it is again. Typical. <sighs> Nothing works in this dump. Snakes! Oh. <sighs> Tracy's got Will Smith's number in here. How'd the little idiot get that? The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Oh, forget him. Who else the little slag got in here? Mom. Robbie Williams. Oh, no. Millennium. <laughs> Dirty little tarts got rude pics of Robbie in her phone. Oh, man. Who else has she got in here? Mum's shopping, Uncle Frank. I don't know when she'll be back. Jay-Z! No! She's Get only up. got the number Get of, up. like, the richest, hottest, sexiest rapper on the planet. Flippin' heck! We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Oh, I can't spend the rest of my life in this. Oh. Oh. Tom Cruise. Gorgeous. And we just waited for me to brighten up his life. Never mind that Katie, what's her face? I wasn't surprised to hear them using me phone. But who was the old bag? I swear no one walked past me, and there's no other way in or out the blue room. But he's got a lovely ding dong. A real one. <laughs> Nikki, give me your phone. What's the matter with you? Hi, what's going on? Open this door. Carol, something's happened to you. Check the mirror. The look not come. A hundred years old. Don't look. You might go back to normal. What's, what's happening to me? Just close your eyes. It's the phone. Give I don't know what I was expecting when I finally got in there, but Nikki was in a right state. Snot hanging out her nose, her hair frazzled, high heels kicked across the room. Can I open my eyes now? Oh, God. Oh, oh, I'm still old. 
What, what am I going to do, Nikki? Carol had aged 80 years. She looked disgusted, like she was already dead. Then I heard what they must have heard all along. Snakes. Outside, Nikki. Let's get out of this room. You'll feel better. Forget her. What, what about me? I, I can't stay like this. Look, look at me. Please, no. There was nothing I could do for Kaz. She was stuck being old. Nikki couldn't move. Must have been in shock from her own nightmares. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up all by themselves and I had shivers up and down my spine. Didn't matter how hard you were or how hard you tried to be. The blue room was going to get you one way or another. I'd left Kaz's knickers in the sink with the tap running full on. But when I got back, the tap had stopped. All by itself. by Ava Ming. Tracy was played by Ashlyn Caffrey. Carol by Katerina Pushkin. And Nikki by Lauren Hopkins. The director was Paul Arnold.